Right, folks, back for more. So, as you can see, just to the left there, you've got a some superliner carriages. So we're going to make the engine go over there and pick them up. So it's still within section D. So technically, it's dropped off the Burlington Northern single decker carriages. So it needs to come across point M again and cross to point cover cross a uh, point A. Or is that O? That's O. Sorry, cross point O, and then we change point O, get it to reverse up to O N K, and then J and then get it past J and then in J it can do the alternative route and then go in and pick up the double deckers so let's get her moving she's still on section D so that's where we're heading with the power so black to black red to red at least we think it was there did I miss something No. No, oh, I'm probably on the wrong one. Hang on. There we are. Beautiful. She's coming, she's coming. I uh, need to get over to point H. So with H we want black to frog and red to red. Black to frog, red to red. And then I would say power section eleven. Black to black, red to red, there we go. There you go, it should be on camera now. Yep, she's on camera. Wonderful. Now we're going to try to set to point them. So, red to frog. Oh no, we can do red to red to red to red. Red to red, black to black. Yes, she moves. And then section 14. Just over O, just over O, yep, that's it. So let's change point O, that's an insole frog. Perfecto. Okay, so if we power, uh, what was it? 14 again. Oh, it's dead. So let's go over to O. Should be enough power to push her along. That's it. Carry on, carry on, carry on. She got far. Those are all Insta frogs. Interesting. With into frogs, I thought that wasn't supposed to happen, but uh, I may be mistaken. Yeah, no, the um, track power is connected. Mm, okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. Cool. Okay, so now she needs to get over. Uh, we're in section. Blur. Oh no, we're on point J. So. Here we are, point J. Point J. Red to red. Black to frog. Yes. And then, as normal. And then we've cleared the point. Perfect. And then, we're changing point J now. And then, change direction. Proceed over point J, my good man. may need to help with the frog yep so the frog is red now so red to frog black to black leap over the frog and then we want our section 10 section 10 here we go beautiful there she goes to pick up the coaches clunk oh she needs help from the hand of God Come on, folks. Yep, 
They're on. Perfect. Cool. Right. And now we then need to reverse out again. So this is not just a test of the tracks themselves, but also of the cars. Those cars have plastic wheel sets. In fact, yeah, plastic wheel sets. Um, they look like the older types as well, so they may have troubles. But we'll see. I mean, so far the tests have been quite good. So we'll see how things go. So repowering section 10, reversing out, taking the double decker superliners with her. One's a baggage, one's a coach. Oh, need to energize point J. So red to frog, black to black. Just over the line. Yep. Yeah. Then red to red, black to black. And that should serve as enough power to go up the way. Like so. Beautiful. I maybe should have put change point six, is it? Alas, never mind. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, one moment, folks. I'll restart. Okay, that appears to be point number seven so we're in section G we're point G and that's another Intel frog interestingly enough the power continues oh no and then number seven number seven is potentially an electro frog it is beautiful <coughs> so frog is black Black to black, black to red, red to red. Wonderful. And I haven't quite cleared the clear point J, so we need to clear point G. Beg your pardon. So I believe we're in section B. Section B is over here. There we are. Point four is with us. Perfect. And then we can stop. So, switching point G over here, just, just to the right there, you see? Excellent. And then switch directions. So, even better quality um, double-decker car you see there. It's, I believe the Al Capitan service has been refurbished for Amtrak colors. Don't ask me the face, but it lights up. So, as soon as we apply power to the right track, we should be able to see some lights shine through. So... Repowering section B, shall we continue? So black to black, red to red, beautiful. Easy does it, easy does it, there she goes, easy does it. Okay, so we're back on, uh, what is that, is that you No, know, that's, that's number seven, isn't it? So, black to frog, red to red. Yeah, it was 0.7. And then now we want red to red, black to black. Like so. Again, point G is a into frog. So it's getting power when it's aligned that may be a good thing that may be a bad thing I'll have to think about it if I want this DC we might be okay to be honest if I want this to have some DC yeah that's the case that's the thought process if not DCC should be fine we'll get to that stage shortly okay so she now should have the uh, El Capitan car so she now needs to come back. I'm going to switch for these purposes, point seven, because it needs more clearance with the additional car. And this may cause some snarl ups, but we want snarl ups because we're testing. And I may move point, no, there's no power over there. So I'll just leave it as is, perfect. Okay, so it should come back across point G and then it'll go up point seven in the alternative route rejoin the track level at point six and then cross point five then use point two to diverge back onto the main 
temporarily. So, where section are we? Are we on now? We're on section nine. So let's just power section nine, shall we? Just to be. Oh no, it's power G. Just to test something. Yeah, there you go. So I've power, I'm powering points G here, and it's definitely delivering power via the the exit frog areas. Oh, struggling a bit. So yeah, at least we've got additional power to give it if required. That's wonderful. It's going via the diverging route. And she's now hit a snag at point 0.7, was that? Or was that point 0.6? So point 0.6 would be back to back, that's right. Yeah. Easy, easy. So the, we might not have any lights then, potentially. Okay. Yes. So the thing about the El Capitan car, the refurbished one, is that it's very, it's got six axle trucks, sorry, it's got six axles, three axle trucks, and very temperamental with tight corners, especially S-curves, and it was just about to hit an S-curve, so I am tempted to, uh, no, it's gone the wrong way. Oh yeah, because it's against it. That's fine. Right, so I'm changing direction now. Let's clear. I mean, technically we could pass it based on that because that track there it's on at the minute will go into the station. But I may be pedantic and go via the same station route I chose before. But first I need to clear the tracks of the Burlington Northern cars. So bear with me one moment. space in the siding, not quite, so I'll park two cars there, and I'll pick one up and come over here out of the way, that's the Burlington Northern out of the way, changing the switch back, okay, so point G is in the correct position, so I need to push it all the way down into the further area of the yard, and all the points over there are set, it's straight there, so perfect, Excellent. Um, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we're good. So it needs a clear point O over there. And then we can switch point O, and then it can take point M towards the passenger tracks, crossing point H. Right, so we are in section... Well, technically, we should be able to repower number six, if that works. No. So, what point was that? Is that point two? So, it's on the frog. So, the frog's the black one. Push, push. Easy, easy. Easy. Oh! Oh no. Point J wasn't. Hadn't, should I say. Uh, what's the power there? That is... Uh, oh, that's point number two, isn't it? Oh, no, that's number six. So, powering six. Hit a bit of a snag spikes, but that's potentially another S-curve right there I've just done. And the El Capitan car seems to be all right. Uh, but let me change point J now. Change direction. And then re energize point two. Easy. Easy. That's it. Okay, and now we energize point six. No, oh, re energize point six. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, that's number six. That might be number seven. Energize point seven. The frog is red. Yes. Push, 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 push. Okay, and then 
we should be good if we point G now. So black and red. bit tough there. So we're at section bleh. <laughs> uh, we're at switch J. Switch J is our friend. So black to fog, red to red. Right and then on to area to K. K is an insta frog. Have we had an accident? Uh, going back to point J. One moment. Um, doesn't want to move. Couple of what? Couple of magnet got stuck in one of the points, so we need to take a look at that coupler at some point. <laughs> right, repowering K. So this is an interfrog, so this shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So far, so good. Really pleased. Uh, bear with us. I'm just clearing point O now. Wonderful. And then switch back. Now, the theory is, if I power point K now, it shouldn't. Uh, theory shouldn't. But it's an instant frog, so who knows? No, it doesn't. Damn. What about fourteen? Yeah. O is the. Return to point N. There we are. Black to black, red to red for a moment. Oh, I need to point power. And then that would be red. And then section 11, which is over here. Oh, it's over here. There she comes. Three coach train. Into point H. You might need help with point H. Yes, it does. So if we follow section D, what will that look like? <clears throat> Point H needs to be energized first, so black is the fog, red is the red. Okay, intersection D then, and we're the home free. Oh, not quite. Um, uh, oh, wrong section again. Okay, there we go. Pulling, pulling. Pulling, pulling, pulling. There you go. And she's away. Into the station tracks, my friends. Wonderful. I think that'll do just nicely. Ladies and gentlemen, the transformer is getting a bit warm. Again, that's giving it quite some abuse. Oops, sorry, folks. So, 
There you are. Uh, so, let me move this transformer over a bit so you can see everything. So down here you've got the terminal blocks, they're all numbered. So, if we want to energize 0.7, that's electrofrog there because you can see the three lines. It's not very well labeled, but you'll get the idea soon. So, 0.7. On the layout, 0.7 is over here. This is 0.7, ladies and gentlemen. So here you've got the red wire and the black wire serving the point rails, and you've got the white wire serving the frog. This is an electrical frog, so there's no insulation in between. It needs to be independently served. The theory with the insulation frogs are that if it's in the favorable direction, it will continue power in this side of the, the point. So say, for example, it's switched here, the power will continue over. Now, what I was getting at earlier is if I want to use this layout with DC as well as DCC, I need to think about isolating this at some point. Because uh, the one thing we don't want is to have trains moving off on their own. But I may just take the plunge and just do DCC full stop. Um, but there, that's generally how it operates. So you then have the sections. So over here, there's there was a pattern to the numbering, but I just stopped caring. It was whatever was suited at the time. So over here, you've got section 11, right? So this covers here to here, but considering point H is electrofrog and point M is electrofrog, over there, you can see that roughly, can you? Yep, point H, electrofrog, and point M. That this area here is isolated, so you need to separately power this. So if you find section 11 in this model, there you go. And literally all I was doing was sticking these power jumpers into section 11. This is probably a bit irresponsible, but it was low power, low voltage. Um, that's why the transformer heated up a little bit. But there we go. Uh, very nice to do some testing. It was fantastic. It worked brilliantly. When we get the fascia up, so the plan with the fascia is to install probably a section here and then a section over here in between them. So then you have a board covering the terminal blocks. So before we light the board, if that's the right wording, apologies if it isn't, we wire up a kind of control panel into all of these, anything of these, with the exception, of course, of the 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 um, the, the frog connections, because those go independently somewhere else. So either frog juices or what I've seen is the gauge master frog power sections. So that might be really interesting. Um, so yeah, um, they operate pretty much roughly on the same. The frog juices a little bit cheaper. So they may not operate as reliable, but we'll see. We will see. Um, in terms of the control panels themselves, the whole purpose of that is to encourage DC, but then thinking about it, I may just stick with DCC, if I say. Or single engines on DC tracks over here, should I say. Something to think about, for sure. So you probably just see the lard over there, over there, freshly cleaned. Yeah. So remember how we got the Valentine Northerns and how we got these over here. So over there, you've got the station winding up. So about one, two, three, four, five, six tracks potentially. Well, actually, no, five tracks because one of them is a service track going in the middle. That's the plan anyway. And then we, yeah. Um, probably get a DCC chip into this little engine here and just have it running it backwards and forwards fetching cars if I can get it to program that well we, we shall see if not it will be operated by someone um, quite frankly I had a lot of fun just doing this even though I had to move the transformer about um, simply because it's an obstacle it's a switching puzzle as well so again if I wanted to I could continue this so it picks up the observation car over there. Or I could pretend I'm taking these out of the station following a train that's now terminating and put them into service tracks. So you've got a service track right up there. 
further up at the other end, you'll have a round table, that's <laughs> turntable even, uh, so it will turn around, including observation coaches and B units, F units, sorry. Um, up there as well, you could operate as a lead if you wanted to. So two potential leads way up there. You can see that I haven't got any track yet. Um, <clears throat> what else do we have? So yeah, talking about the S curves quickly. So here is our practical S curve right here. And I was very worried about this car handling that, but it seems to do it just fine, particularly when we didn't have point A properly lined up. It seemed to didn't mind that too much. So our main worry then is over here. That may be okay, because you can see a lot of S-curves over there, but in theory it's all diagonal, so it shouldn't matter too much. But when we get to testing that side, we will. That may be tomorrow, that may be a few days from now. But either way, quite excited. I will need to add some trackage over there, just to be sure. And over here as well, just to intensify tests. But again, uh, the, the main focus at the moment is to wire everything up now. Um, I will probably forego any control panels for track power and just rely on um, the assumption that everything will be GCC at some point or just run a single engine and take off any others that I don't need for the moment. Um, that's roughly about it. But yeah, the main focus of the control panels will be just for the points. Um, these will probably be with... I'm um, on the fence about... Um, solenoids and or servos at the minute I like the thoughts behind servos so keep that focused um, where the, pos the positives are on the servos is I don't have to dig into the foam to get to them um, when it comes to the if you can probably see it on my Facebook updates you can see it way over there um, when I start using the plywood boards pardon the fireworks again so when I start with the plywood boards, that may not be too much of an issue anymore. I could use either or without much issues. These ones are a bit snappy, but if I'm using a capacitor or some kind of CDU unit, they won't be too loud to push them. And I don't mind this quick action here. But either way, I don't really have a choice with the custom built ones because they need servos at the very least to align properly. In fact, I'm a bit hesitant with that point over there because we had an issue with this bad boy uh, going the wrong path halfway through. So we may have to revisit that point at some point. <laughs> this one should be okay. This one over here. And those two over there, I don't think will be much of an issue per se. If all else fails, I can replace them with actual points. Uh, I've got one or two at least I can use. Um, but yeah, so far so good, successfully tested, um, only one or two concerns at the minute, especially with the Interfrogs and DC use, usage, I don't think it'll be much of an issue to be honest. Um, in terms of getting this done to the point where I can actually run trains reliably and use a control panel instead of having to uh, use these, I think... It may be a few days yet, or well, maybe a week or two at least, because I'd like to progress with the the baseboards over there, the up main and the down main, and then add some trackage on this side. We shall see how it goes. But for now, I think that will cover a lot of it there. These tests have been pretty good so far. Um, nothing unexpected, nothing to worry about. The hard work and patience is paying off. Um, it's just wiring it up now and testing it with the wiring testing it with the point motors in um, to be honest I think it may be a good idea just to go with servos either way just by looking at it potentially maybe we'll see I don't mind carving up my uh, my foam again to make it easy for myself but again it's <clears throat> not too much trouble there's a lot of wiring down there plus you've got these cupboards here so, and I've got a load of solenoid point motors anyway that I don't mind using. The insular frogs shouldn't need any any of those kinds of frog juices. Um, but obviously, yeah, the electro frogs don't need those juices. 
or some kind of juices should we say um but yeah i think that would cover it for now i this is the yards um this is the coach yards signing out for now uh, it's been a pleasure to test this along with you guys i hope you've had as much enjoyment as i have watching and it's not been too crazy with the fireworks and the rattling of the phone um just generally speaking it's keep my spirits up um not that they've gone down anywhere here the progress has been fantastic especially for the new baseboards over there so we'll see uh fantastic hope to bring you another test for the other side at some point just to show you guys more than happy to um we will get that round table done at some point brilliant so this is the coach yard signing off